Hi guys. So today's video is going to be a list of some of what I think are the best fantasy audiobooks. I have a couple that are narrators technically, so they have multiple books. <laughs> but anyway, I have roughly 10 recommendations as well as a few honorable mentions that I don't personally love, but a lot of people really, really love. Jumping right into it, I know everybody says save the best for last, but Nope, I'm not gonna do that because I have to mention it and if you're a fan of fantasy books, you're a fan of audiobooks, you probably already know what it's gonna be. And that would be the First Law Trilogy, Joe Abercrombie's books in general. Pacey is the best narrator I've ever listened to. His ability to make every character come to life be so distinct from the main characters to the main characters thoughts being slightly different from them but you still know it's them to random side characters that you meet once but they have such clear voices that you're like that's that guy i mean there are times when i'm like he had to have have gotten so much spit on his microphone because he sounds just so angry it feels real it feels like that is actually what a person is saying and feeling in that moment He's just fantastic, and there's a character named Glockta who's missing some teeth. And so when he talks, the character is brought to life by the narrator's way of doing that. But then when he gets his thoughts, it's not the same. Because, obviously, he's not missing teeth in his thoughts. So he just captures the voices so well, the thoughts so well. I highly recommend, I don't think I can play samples for you because of copyright reasons, but go play a sample, <laughs> go click on this book, play a sample, listen to it, and tell me that's not the best narrator you've ever heard. Ah, so good. Next up would be Michael Kramer. I actually have multiples. There's The Way of Kings, the Stormlight Archive series, and Mistborn, as well as some of other works by Brandon Sanderson. So this particular narrator, I also think brings the characters to life really, really well. I don't think he overdoes some of the voices. Some narrators I find sometimes if they're a man doing a woman's voice, it gets to be a little awkward. Or if it's a woman doing a man's voice, you're like, okay, guys don't sound like Neanderthals. But I just feel like he, he never overdoes it. But I really like the fantasy accents that he gives people. I have heard some people complain that he sounds too American, which I get. I kind of I get it. But at the same time, I just think he has such a great, rich voice. And he does the characters really well. I just, I love his voice. Next up is one that I actually think is very underappreciated in the audiobook game, and that would be the Seven Realm series by Cindy Williams Chima. I loved the narration for this one. The woman to me sounds a little bit like, what's the tree's name from Pocahontas? Grandmother Willow? Is that her name? That's kind of what it reminded me of, like, she's gonna sit and tell me the story. And I just felt like she just sounds wise, but she does the characters because a lot of them are younger. They don't sound old. She she captures the youthfulness of the characters when she does male voices. She doesn't deep in order to make them sound dumb. I just really like, I mean, you're gonna hear me repeat the same phrase all the time of, I just think that they have great voices and stuff like that. But this lady, I'm like, wow, tell me this story, please. And tell me any story forever and always because your voice is so lovely. Next up would be Ever the Hunted. This is, I think, a nice, just very tropey, YA fantasy kind of sort of romance story. And it's quick read. It's a duology. It's very comfy and familiar. It's not really earth shattering. If you need something that you're like, I want all the tropes. I want all the tropes. This book is that. And I was very pleasantly surprised when I went to listen to the audiobook. And I'm not going to lie. It was basically the accent. The accent of this narrator is awesome. I loved their accent. I loved the way that they put passion into the characters' voices and the way they could be really soft and sound really vulnerable. I just thought it was lovely and it fit the story so well. I'm so jealous. I mean, I feel I don't like the way I talk. So I'm always, anytime anybody has any kind of any different voice, inflection, accent, anything, I'm always like, it's so cool, and that's how I felt listening to this one. Next up, we have Queen of the Tearling. From what I understand, the narrators change in the sequels, but the first one, that woman has the best, like, I'm gonna give you a speech and you're gonna go to war for me kind of voice. It's powerful, and it is just the best, like, rile you up kind of narration. It's so good. It's so strong, but also very feminine at the same time, and... I 
could not get enough of it. I loved, to the point where I'm like, I want to see what else they've narrated. Even if I'm not interested in the book, I just thought that their voice was fantastic and it it fit the book perfectly because we have a character who kind of has to ascend the throne and they need to assert themselves. And so I feel like all those inspirational, like, no, this is my land, I'm going to protect it, those kind of, those kind of moments. Oh, they were just so good. And like, if you're driving, you're like, yeah, that's right. This is your land. You are going to protect it. That's the kind of you just, that's the, that's what you want out of an audiobook is to have it make you feel all the feelings. Next up, we have anything narrated by Steve West. So a few would be Strange the Dreamer, Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. We also have The Thief. We have the Ember and the Ashes series. Any of those are narrated by this person and talk about the most rich, lovely man voice. Ah, oh, his voice is fantastic. Like, is this really how you talk, you talk like this, gosh darn it. I'm always so jealous of people with voices that are just like, you hear it and you're like, oof, talk to me more, please say more things. And that's his voice. And I also think he does a fantastic job of capturing the characters. There's one particular character, Minya from Strange the Dreamer. The way he does Minya's voice is so good. Imagine somebody trapped in, in a child form for years, who's, <laughs> this sounds terrible, but who's like really struggling <laughs> with some, uh, issue, they have some issues, some, they've gone through some stuff, and they're very angry, but they're also small, and they're a girl, and he's a man with a, a great man voice, but the way he captures this character, oh man, it's just so good, he's fantastic. Next up, we have the narrator for Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. This is one of the few Sanderson books that is narrated by someone that is not Michael Kramer, and I loved her voice. When I first listened to Warbreaker, I'm like, oh man, it's not Michael Kramer. <laughs> and I was a little bummed, but then her voice is just, it's sultry and it's elegant and it fits the story so well because there's one particular character who's kind of a side character and she, she is a very sultry character who's kind of seductive. And I feel like the, uh, the narrator, excuse me, not Brandon Sanderson. <laughs> He's definitely not got a super sultry voice. No offense, Sanderson. But I felt like the narrator, she could do this voice so well where you're like, man, this lady's seducing me right now. But at the same time, all the other characters, she captured them too. And they're not all super seductive people, but she just, she just has a great, a great lady voice. I talked about that great man voice. She has just the nicest, most elegant, sophisticated lady voice, and I love it. Now onto a few honorable mentions. These are ones that I personally didn't love, but they are really well loved by so many people. So I wanted to mention them too. One of them would be The Dresden Files. For me, the only reason it wasn't really my thing is because I started out with the physical and it is, it's first person narration. The character is telling you the story. And I just kind of imagined them a certain way. And the audiobook narrator was not quite how I heard the character's voice in my head. So then it felt sort of jarring. But most people love it. I see so many people that are like, oh, one, well, it's the best. It's the best. So I want to throw that one out there. Another one would be Lies of Locke Lamora. This particular narrator has so much enthusiasm and they really have so much inflection in the voice. They bring everything, the highs, the lows. They just everything is kind of dramatic. And I feel like sometimes narrators, they're a little more subdued, if you will. But this one is not afraid to embrace the silliness, the craziness, and all the different awkward pitches <laughs> that our voices can go to. Like I said, those aren't necessarily my personal favorites, but I do think that the narrators are fantastic. And I wanted to mention them in case you are looking for yourself or some good narrators. But anyway, let me know what some of your favorite audiobooks are for fantasy, especially, I'm not gonna lie, I don't usually love young adult books narrations. I think because for me, they, they just sound too angsty and I'm like, I don't really always read <laughs> these characters quite so angsty or quite so like whispery and dramatic. So if you have some good young adult ones, but also just any of them, and it doesn't have to be fantasy either. If you have just great audiobook recommendations, definitely feel free to leave those down below. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you later. Bye.